public companies that want to grow have many different choices for financing their growth. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about a particular financing option that can literally kill them. If you're new to this channel, my name is Mariusz Konieczny. I run Microcap Explosions, a private membership website dedicated to microcap stocks, which are ignored and underfollowed by the investment industry. I also wrote about 10 books on investing, one of which is available for a free download at microcapexplosions.com. I created valueinvestinguniversity.com to make you a more intelligent investor, so head over there to sign up for a free account. Convertible debt or convertible debenture is a financing option that sometimes is chosen by companies, especially maybe smaller companies or companies that might not have easy access to capital by need that capital to grow, they might choose that option. And you might be involved in, in a company that chooses to do this and you might not see any risk in it because it might be explained by the management or the CEO as a fantastic option, but it might not be. So here's what I mean. Smaller companies, uh, I see need growth. They are at the smaller stages of their development. And in order to grow revenues, uh, it costs money. It costs resources. Revenues don't just grow. And if you think they just grow, then I think you should maybe study businesses a little bit more because in order to get a sale, you need to have a salesperson. You know, you need something to accelerate that growth. And of course, the best way to finance the kind of growth is internally generated cash flow. Like that's the best way. That's what established companies do. They have enough revenues in order to finance their growth. But some smaller companies don't have enough revenues yet. And therefore, they might rely on like an equity raise or debt or convertible debt in order to generate that growth. But convertible debt is a hybrid security and it might actually create more more harm than good. So picture this. You have a company that has a market cap of $10 million, okay? $10 million, the stock price is $1, so we have 10 million shares, right? So 10 million market cap, 10 million shares, $1 stock price, okay? Now the CEO needs $5 million, okay? For whatever it is, new product, grow something, he needs $5 million. Well, if you have a market cap that's 10 and he needs 5 million, that would be a 50%, 5-0 dilution, right? And let's just assume that he can get regular financing, equity financing. He chooses uh, convertible debt because he goes to a meeting with the bankers and says, oh, I, once I have this five million, I'm gonna do this, 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 and that, and it's gonna be fantastic, and the stock is gonna go to five bucks, and you know, and I don't wanna do a, a regular equity financing because it's, it's too dilutive, it's 50% dilutive, uh, therefore I wanna do convertible debt, or, or even that. He wants to do an equity financing, but the bankers are like, you know what, the, 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 your story sounds so fantastic. Um, convertible debt might be better because if your stock is going to go to five bucks from one dollar, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be great and your shareholders are going to accept less dilution. And here's how convertible debt works. They give you the five million. And of course, there is an interest rate on debt as it is. But that five million is convertible. So it's convertible into shares of, of the company. Okay, that's what the convertible is. So it is sold to shareholders or the companies themselves by the bankers in the following way. You know, you have such great plans. Uh, your stock is going to be $5, which at that point, your market cap is going to be 50 million. Because remember, it was, ten, uh, it, was, it was 10 million, but it's going to be 50 million, right? And that five million is going to get converted into shares at 50, right? So five million, 50, that's only 10% dilution, right? To, to print the extra shares. So then the CEO is like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do prefer 
10% dilution over a 50% dilution when the market cap was 10, right? So, oh yeah, let's sign the papers, let's do it, so, tell it to the shareholders, they're all going to be happy, we're going to have the money in the bank, and, uh, and it's going to be wonderful. Now, here's the catch. What if the stock doesn't go to $5? What if the stock, instead of going from $1, it goes to $0.20? Cents? In other words, it goes down 80%. It's possible. I just showed you many different videos of how stocks, good, decent companies, goes down 80%. Why? Because the Fed decides to raise interest rates. There's a war in, uh, in Europe. Um, this happens, that happens. We get a pandemic. The stocks can, in the short term, anything can happen. So now, picture this. The market gap goes from 10 million to 2. And now they convert 5 million of convertible debt into shares. Now, what happens to the dilution? So, 5 million shares, five, no, no, not shares, five, $5 million divided by 20 cents, because a dollar to 20 cents, now the company has to print 25 million shares. And they had originally 10 million shares, so now the company just had to print 35 million shares. Now the lender, or shark, owns more than 75% of your company. See the difference? So instead of taking a 50% dilution at the beginning, now the company goes from having 10 million shares to 35 million shares, which is more than 100% dilution. The lender now owns 70% of the company and all the shareholders are not very happy. That's all I can tell you. But you see the bankers that engage in convertible debt. That's why convertible debt, sometimes it's called convertible debt death spiral. Because the lenders, those sharks, they know that the kind of companies that choose to do convertible debt are a lot of times companies that have no choice and they have to do that kind of debt because it's the only financing available for them. So this tends to be companies that are maybe not very high quality companies. And as a result of this, the bankers know this and the bankers allow the CEO to pitch them the idea of how great it's going to be. And then they take that pitch and they throw it back to the company with a proposal to do, oh, let's do convertible debt knowing very well that this is probably going to fail, but then they're going to take and convert the convertible debt amount into shares, diluting the company to death. So next time you see a company that has convertible debt on the balance sheet, pay attention because the convertible debt, most of the time, they don't state what, the, what price the conversion happens at. It states what the amount is going to be converted into shares, but it, it doesn't state what the stock price is going to be. So depending on where the stock price is going to be, the, depending on the mood of the Mr. Market, depending on the mood of other investors, the stock price can go anywhere. Of course, if the stock price truly goes a, a lot higher, of course, that option turns out to be very good. But unfortunately, a lot of times when the, the quality of the company is not good and the, the company is desperate for cash, it usually turns out that the stock declines significantly and then the lender takes advantage of that decline to get a big percentage of, of the company's ownership and dilute the existing shareholders to death. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Take your time to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share this video, and leave me a comment below.